All right, you guys. I am on uh, what I call the South Lease down here in Tennessee. Not very big, but it's somewhere to start. And it, it, it almost reminds me of Kansas. I, I hunted down here quite a bit this year. Saw the shooter that I was after twice. Saw a bunch more deer, couldn't get it done. I was actually literally hunting in that tree right there, uh, which was one of the spots. But it's after season here in Tennessee. I got feed that I want to bring down. I just want to see what's in the area. And if you'll take a little walk with me, you can see how. Hang on a second. Let's get you down in here. You can see how there's like a, a little opening in this brush. This used to be cut down a lot more, and it's definitely thinner than all this real thick stuff around it. But what I'm thinking, what I would like to do is I want to be able to brush hog all of this and even tr do some of the sides of it in towards these cedars and I want to be able to plant a little food plot down here it kind of fingers and wise out at each side and I, if I can I want to be able to do both sides as well but I came down here today for a couple different reasons one being that I wanted to feed two being that we have a snow a fresh snow and it's one of the times when you can see the fresh track so Tennessee doesn't get too much snow especially down here south of Nashville a little bit and you can see there's track going all throughout this thicket but I know I know there's more good deer in here than I even saw an experience this year. I also know that you could kill one, a good one in here. It's it's so thick and during the rut they were conjugated in here because there's a couple different doe groups. When them doe groups got hot, I was literally sitting in that tree right there, which now down on this side was a terrible spot because I was skylit from anything down here. But I saw him and her cross that lower flat down there at right at the end of this little road probably 60 yards down but there's cedars all along here and then there's cedars all along this other side over here that they got a bed in so they were just crossing from one side to the next i mean honestly i think i can get down here i don't see why i wouldn't do that just drive down in here or back down in here gonna save me a hell of a lot of time yeah I'm gonna because this won't matter everything's frozen right now so I'm gonna back down in otherwise I'm huffing a couple hundred pounds which you know I don't mind doing that either but this this will be better at least to start and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna put cameras on a couple of the entry points in and out and I want to learn how they're coming in and out of here so it's January folks it's still January and your boy is already learnt in a couple, two, three things for next year. That's how we gonna roll, okay? Because next year, we won't be denied. Maybe it's just a little wake up call. You gotta work a little harder, boy.
That's probably good. Got us another 60, 80 yards. We'll take it. Let's fucking go. down here you can just feel you can feel the solitude yes yeah, there's track I had I had him and her walk up I'll tell you how let's go dump this somewhere That is what I suspected. That being one of the runways. Okay. I mean, you can just see this is. And it's easy to say just get up into one of these trees, but what's not easy is getting in and out of this spot. But you can see. right here I mean and that's one of the, that's one of the points where I wanted a camera going out that way which we may just put one in here they're coming in and out right there that's good to know they're giving themselves up a little bit right now this like do I put the feed right here there's a lot of track in here a lot of track but this is where I need a camera in here I need a camera in here in the like well in the summer fall okay Almost want a camera, right? Shit, you need like a post because you really need it like right here. Or just clear this out. Making face this way. I know what to do. Clear that out. Face it that way. So, this is all good, good information, very good information, they like this down here, 
a like this down here. I almost like do I just cut a cut a trail in and be able to hunt <laughs> in one of these freaking trees right here. tracker on my Onyx. This is too good. There's a lot. spending a lot of time in here. You gotta be in here though. Gotta be in in here somewhere. There's another trail. I mean. It's pretty awesome what you can do when you put boots on the ground. this property and I kind of had an inclination that I wasn't but I was not I was not in it enough this year I was hunting the outskirts and I was doing that purposefully because this is I mean you're in the freaking bed in here like you are in the middle of it but sometimes you just have to be this tree would be insane right here Getting into this tree right here would be nuts. And there's track everywhere. All around it. And you wouldn't have to trim as much. The problem is figuring out how to get in here. That's the hardest part. This is part of where I want to put the, you know, ex extend the food all right out into here. This whole little strip. Did this though. We're learning right now, people. We're learning. Coyote's gonna get whacked if I see his ass. He definitely kicked up a few deer. It's just so hot. 
park because they're coming that way, they're coming this way, they're obviously walking that back. It's so hard to figure out what what wind and how to hunt certain winds down here. There's another trail. Great to know. Great to freaking know. So, put the camera right there, or put the camera right here, <laughs> maybe, I don't like that garbage in the background, but I like this. And it's at the crossing of the trail. It's at the trailhead. Yeah, we're gonna do it right here, I think. We're gonna do it right here. I got a couple of them three bags already down there. I'm on my last trip, and it's time to battery up another mole tree. Join us, folks, as we battery up this mole tree. Here we go. Look at these sick cases that mole tree has. Wow. I got a lot of cameras in here. No more than I should. I don't know, might have to put another one up. Screw it. Screw it, man. You know, the neat thing about these Moultries, these Moultrie mobiles, you can actually run them with eight batteries. There's slots for 16 batteries, but you can actually, they will run with eight batteries. And another tip for you guys is when you're using these Moultrie mobiles, there are options on the app to select the frequency at which your camera will send you photos and or video. My suggestion, and especially since this is after the season, is to put it on the three to six hour frequency because it will drastically save your battery life. So, let me paint you a little picture, okay? Your camera takes a pick and when it takes that pick it gets all happy and it's like I'm gonna send it to David well depending on the cell service in that area it may take a little bit longer 
for that image to send to me. So, for instance, I have my camera on immediate mode. It snaps a photo of a deer walking down a trail. Then it takes three to four minutes to send that photo just based on the tough covers that we have and likely will have down in this hill, down in this little valley down here. Okay, now it's gonna take its minute to reboot. So you're really, you, you potentially could be missing some photos by having it on immediate mode, but you're definitely draining a lot of battery because every time this camera has to connect to the network and try to send a photo and try to send a photo and try to send a photo, that's draining the battery. Now, if that's only doing that, you know, 12 to what, whatever, six to 12 times a day, obviously you can imagine that's drastically saving battery life. And especially in these late season cold months, you're, it's gonna be far better. You're gonna have to come back and rechange the batteries far less. And you're actually gonna be getting more photos that way. So just a little tip, just a little, you know, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to do that. You know, I'm, I'm just telling you, speaking from experience. That's all I'm doing. So, anyway, let's get it. This garbage. Oh, I forgot I had these. Diener. You got me with the frigging yang. Nice. Alright, boys and girls, let's go for a journey. I love feeding deer. Oh, I love bait. And it's not even bait. Because we can't kill anything. <laughs> it's just feeding them to get their pictures. And no, we're not in U New York for the all you team baiting and waiting fans up there. We are not in New York. This is uh, south of a Mason Dixon, Tennessee, baby. Come on down, enjoy some sunshine. Not today, but most other days. Enjoy, enjoy some sunshine. Nice vitamin D for your cheeks. It'll light you up a little bit, make you smile. spot down here I like this a lot I gotta figure out how on earth we're gonna hunt in here for this upcoming year I, I could have killed that but, but this is right where he was I was way up in that tree past the truck and it's just I, I'm looking at it now and I'm like man freaking sky lit but he had to have I'm, I'm assuming I heard I heard a couple grunts which sounded like they were in this in this cedar thicket he, they had to have come out of here and I caught him coming across here literally caught him right here and he was on her and moving and they went right back into this trail where we went before Oh, good gracious, I want a spot in here. I gotta figure it out. How do we do it? How do we do it? We're gonna figure it out and play that much. That we will. Okay. Bear, bear with me. how easy this is okay turn it on it's connecting See, I told you this is a little bit of a hole down here. So normally you're in a good cell zone that connects right away. But the cool part about the Moultries is these are connecting to the closest cell network 
regardless of your provider. All right, see, it's connected. So we Gucci. Now, help me set this up, would you? Would you just help me set this up? shaky tree so now the cool part is let me check this out let's go on to the Moultrie mobile app we're gonna go to devices this has got to be a North Dakota one come on Just, oh shit I don't have any cell service down here that's all right just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. It's gonna add up. It's gonna be just fine. gonna happen there's gonna be a couple of slickies that just set up shop and hang out right here I ever tell you guys how much I love feeding deer let me tell you something I love feeding deer I love to feed some deer. I got all that corn down. All that corn down right there. Got some buck bourbon mixed on in there. Yeah, I said it. Buck bourbon. And that ain't no sales pitch. That's a promise. She's, lower, she's loaded, locked, and ready to rip, baby. Ready to friggin' rip. Look at that beautiful specimen right there. Look at that beautiful specimen. All right. Now it's time to take a walk. We're gonna, I wanna shift a couple cameras around to see what we see coming in here. And yeah, we need, in my humble opinion, okay, we need something coming out this way for, I wanna see what deer are coming in through that way right there we need something up along this region over here or or back behind that cedar where i found that i liked and we need something up this little hill up on top right here we're gonna follow this trail this is where i thought i thought i 
think I saw something. I saw that buck. This is where I saw that buck. And this makes some kind of sense. This. This is not a bad tree. Either. Man, you can see some good shit in this tree. Holy. Freaking deer trails are right around it. And you could snip, sneak up, dip up, dip down, double wide dipper. Damn. I like that. We got a trail going up through there. But this is where the bucks live. I'll tell you something. This is nice. Because you're a little elevated. This actually. the shit out of this one that's how you almost just want to be in it but damn I like this one too it's a little bigger of a tree it would creep right up on you oh look at this Camera in here. This has got to be like right in the freaking middle. Well, I'm this far off, that's not. Hmm. Yeah, this is arguably huntable in here. Though. <laughs> yeah, that's been the hardest part is finding the, the huntable spots. And it seems like There's gonna be another wall of shit. Hmm. I gotta come back in here once the snow melts and see if there was any scrapes. I, there's gotta be some a scrape in here. Something. Definitely could get in. That big old pine right there. Ain't gonna get much footage.
tree. All right, you guys, well, we got this tree right here that overlooks this little trail. And I'm gonna put this camera on it and just see what we see. 